Welcome to Cocker Spaniel World. We talk about all things dogs, not just Cocker Spaniels. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Hey guys, so today we're working with a little Cocker Spaniel. Um, we're doing a number seven on her body. We're going to do, um, uh, we're going to keep the skirt long, clean feet because she has allergies. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do a cocker. So to start, we're gonna start with uh, her face. We're using, I'm using a number 10 to shave her face. Her mom likes her eyelashes. I'm going to try to avoid that. Of course, every time she comes, she tells me she loves the eyelashes. I save it, and then of course the dog just kind of like turn and I cut it. But um, pretty much that's how you do a cocker face. Just be sure to you know avoid the eye. Use a number ten. Do not use a number five, a number four. You can use a number seven, but only if you are a certified groomer on the dog's face. Okay. You're gonna see that I use a both ten and a seven on her face here. So pretty much we're just cleaning her face. Cockers pretty much get um, a cocker face, which is a poodle face. It's the same thing. I know, honey, I know. I got you, Sky. Basically, we're just taking every little thing out of there. Be sure to have your dog extremely, extremely dry before you start doing the, um, the haircut. I know cockers are really, really hard to do. Okay, so um, her, I pretty much clean around her muzzle here. Um, if you are a beginner, uh, continue with your 10 to do it all around her head here, her ears. But if you are not a beginner, you're just watching the video for fun. I'm using a seven to pick up the hair on the side here. Avoiding her eyelashes again. I loved when reverse on um, certain dogs. And uh, for, uh, for her here, I loved when the number seven reverse because I get a cleaner cut. Of course, I use the 10 on her face, her belly, and everywhere else. Hi. Good girl. So pretty much hold on to the ear, avoiding the eye to get it done. We're shaving the inside of her ears. Uh, we're going to use a number 10 again. Uh, I know a lot of people think that they can pluck the cocker, um, the hair um, inside the cocker's ear. It's too thick. You can't really pluck it, and I would not recommend it. But what you can do is use a smaller clipper to get around here. Uh, I know a lot of vet um, tells their uh, clients to go to the groomers to get the hair plucked um, out of the cocker's ear, but no. We don't pluck the ear. We cannot do it. You use a small clipper to get it out of the dog's ear. So, the same thing here. Don't forget to check your blade. So I'm gonna leave this like that because we're growing the top here so it could be a little bit fuller. But typically with, you know, cocker ears, you can either do, um, I, and I learned this just a few days ago, you can either do it at a V shape or you can do it just going straight down. And then for the edge of the ear, you can either hold it like this. Just remember, everything is from tip to tip. Or if you don't wanna do it like that, you can, if you're not comfortable with this side, I'm gonna do this side so you can see it, just like that. Pretty much you're cleaning the dog's, um, you know, the ear edge with your uh, blade. If you don't want to do it like that and you're not comfortable with doing that, um, just take your scissors. Make sure you align your fingers with the tip of the ear so you don't cut it. Because when the ears bleed, they bleed. They take a while to stop bleeding. See, you get the same result. Same thing here. You can actually flip the ear like that. I know, honey. Flip the ear like that.
and then you can go back and clean it over so this is our concrete here like i said we're letting this grow so it can be fuller but typically you would take it all the way down to here if the pet parent wants to if not you keep it at the angle where they want it to so we're gonna start by uh doing our clean feet now i have a number 40 i'm gonna do her paw pads back up a little bit thank you so basically, I'm sure you guys know how to do a paw pad if you're doing a cocker. I like to do the paw pads before I do the clean feet because that way I get that out of the way and I get a clear gateway to get all the hair from the feet. Her feet has to be really, really clean because she does get a powder put in between her toe to help with the allergy. When you're doing a clean feet, get closer for me. Um, you need your number 10. If you don't have a 10, you can use a 40, but I don't, re I don't recommend using a 40 if you are not a uh, professional, okay? Use the number 10. If you reverse it, you should get it just as close, okay? Uh-uh, uh-uh. You're fine, buddy. So basically, it's like doing a clean feet on a poodle. There's nothing different. I know, Sky. I'm gonna make sure you get every little piece of hair. Skylar. Her toes are irritated. But they are getting a lot, a lot better. So to get in between the toes, I pretty much kind of tilt the clipper. I know, Sky. I know. And when you're doing your clean feet, you want to start out with a fresh blade because it does get hot. So if you start out with a fresh blade, then you don't have to switch it in the middle of doing the clean feet. But if your blade gets hot pretty quickly, then definitely go ahead and switch it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh-uh. So we go a little bit higher with her clean feet. And then of course, you do the same with the back. Move back a little bit. Sigh, relax honey, relax. Relax, good girl. So same thing with the back. Take it up. And this is our clean feet. A cocker clean feet. Okay, so all clean feet, all four feet are clean. We're gonna start with a number seven on her body, okay? Uh, we're doing a number seven cocker cut. Skylar, you are so lazy. You are just the laziest girl. Um, remember, I did a number 10 on the head, so we're gonna start with our number seven. There's nothing to it. Just make sure you don't shave the skirt down. You should have has, um, you know, different number seven sitting aside if you are not planning on using your Hulu, but keep in mind, you need to use your Hulu. Oops, sorry. Sky, Sky, behave. Today, she's not being a good girl. Typically, she's my very, very good girl. So there's two ways you can get to the um, skirt. You can either go straight behind like this. If you do, you need to be careful to not go like this because you can and you will create a line, okay? Or you can do this, which is the old, just taking it straight down. Uh, can you zoom in in the skirt for me, please? So this is pretty much it. You need to be able to have your skirt here. And then we're going to use either your thinners or your clip comb to blend it in. But you want to make sure you don't have a line. If you're looking, I, I don't have a line. 
okay? That's what you don't want, a lie. So if you're gonna go like this with the comb blade, you will get a line. You just have to blend it in with a, um, uh, your thinners. But if you don't want a line, just go like this, okay? So if you didn't get a good look at the other side, of course you can play back or you can take a look at this one here. So pretty much it's the same thing. Just keep going with your blade, keep going with your blade. Everyone, you know, do their work differently. So you might look in here and you're like, oh, this is the way for me. And then you might look at another video or another groomer might show you a different way to do it. And, you know, find whatever that works for you. You don't have to do what the other groomer is doing. Whatever works for you, that's what you do. So basically I'm just dipping my clippers so I'm not gonna going with the skirt. So I'm going to fix this. One thing you will notice grooming, there's always one side that you are better at or better grooming at. But um, it's pretty much the same thing with the chest here too. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Same thing with the chest. Wanna keep your hair. All right, and you're just gonna blend it in. So pretty much the, what the cocker cut is, you know, shaving the top of the body, leaving a skirt, leaving this here, and then typically you have the big fluffy feet to have the cocker legs. But like I mentioned already, in her case, we're doing clean feet. So um, she pretty much just broke my blade and my comb blade. This happens in grooming. Um, I'm going to attempt to use my A comb on her. Most people might call this a, an A comb. We call it a three quarter here. Um, that's what I'm gonna be doing on her legs. As you can see, it looks great uh, during the winter. This is how we keep her because she's nice and fluffy. I know, sweetheart. So now uh, we're going to take, I'm going to take the uh, A comb, three quarters, just lightly trim it down a little bit. We're in Florida, it's hot. We're just gonna tim the hair down a little bit. If you happen to grab um, some mats doing a uh, clip comb hair crop, just stop and find the mat and get rid of it. Because if you put your comb blade through it, I guarantee you, you will break your blade. Hi, baby girl. You will break your blade and you will hurt the dog because it will tug on it. So there's nothing to it. I'm pretty much just cleaning up the hair. And keeping her bottom feet a little bit fuller. Make sure you don't separate it with the, from the skirt, okay? If you can see, it's still there with the skirt. I'm just gonna blend this in a little bit. To blend it in, I'm going to use a half an inch. Her hair is extremely curly, so it's got waves. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, th uh, three quarter, my three eight to do a um, to do more blending because the half inch didn't take it down as much. There we go. And if you are not comfortable blending with your clip comb. You can go ahead and use your thinners. When it comes to a cocker's leg, I am more comfortable blending with my uh, comb blade rather than the, the thinners. But if you want to blend with the thinners, all you have to do, get your thinners pretty much 
work your way through or you can do it from this angle whatever angle you want to use that's your choice okay So I did the three quarter on the legs. Use the uh, three eighths to um, blend in the coat. So I'm basically just trimming around the leg, giving him like a nice palm leg, meaning I'm keeping that all nice and thick and fluffy. Me uh -huh. she. Mm hmm. Me she. All right. Sorry. Sorry, Sky. Don't go, baby. I don't want to use my um, shoes. I just got to shopping. It's fine. It's fine. A lot of people look at grooming and they're like, oh, you know, you must be having such a good time. Or, or you know, get to be with the dogs all day. It's fun. Yes, it's fun, but we get stressed out. Oh, our work is stressful. So do not judge groomers, pet parents. So we, uh, uh, uh. we work with sharp tools. When you walk in here, when you walk into your groomers, groomers, and you start yelling out for your dog's name, or you start whistling, and they turn around, guess what? I can easily cut the dog, rip his eye right out. So please don't do that. I'm sorry, we just had to, I, I went off topic there for a moment. I just had to mention that because we had someone who came in and, and did that. I mean, people do it every day, but when you see I'm working with a dog who's giving me a hard time and then you want to come in and start whistling your dog's name, it's like, whatever, boom. Guess what? I'm trimming this dog's face. I can take an eye out in two seconds. People seem to think it's very cute that people are doing that. It's not cute. When you walk into your grooming salon, your, your, your people's grooming salon, don't do that. We work with sharp objects, people. So pretty much you just, you know, I trim the um, leg. Jess, can you come get a nice view of that? Take a three quarter down to it, which is an A comb, trim the legs, blend it in. So, you know, the her clean feet can be a little bit visible. Uh, I know, baby, don't move. Good girl. Don't sit, honey, don't sit. And like I said, typically you leave the cocker's feet down to the, um, you know, floor. It all depends on what type of haircut the pet's parents want, honestly. I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the uh, body, okay?
We did a number seven on the body. We did a 10 on her face, uh, 10 on the top of her head. We did a seven, uh, I mean, we did a 10 on her ears. We're keeping her ears long, so this is why we're not trimming them. And uh, we did uh, the skirt on the legs. We did a three quarters, okay? If you guys have any question, you can uh, leave a, a comment, or if you have anything you wanna say, just, you know, leave it in the comment. Um, I don't mind. You won't hurt my feelings. Your opinions are your own. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. And um, please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Hi, Sam. Hi.